Hello tractor and hydraulics fans. Today I'm going to try and get my Dane Lander working with my Massey Ferguson 135. Typically on a 135 there's only one hydraulic tip of valve and that's not really enough to operate a Dane Lander, something slightly more modern bit of machinery. With one spool valve it's great for using a tipping trailer because you can just push the cylinder up and the trailer will tip and then the weight of the trailer back will then push the fluid back um, back into the tractor um, off its own way to see it's for the most simple setup here it's slightly more different um, we've got a cylinder which is te technically called an actuator but this is a double acting actuator so we've got two pipes going one into the bottom and one into the top so it pushes it up and then it pushes it back down again so that fluid then needs to go back into the tank so at the moment it's not quite compatible with my 135 because on this thing it's so small there's not really enough weight to push the fluid back plus it's going to start doing a bit of damage and wear and tear so i'm going to fit a valve or i'm going to try to so i got on the internet and i've ordered a whole bunch of stuff i've got a a double acting valve so it's got a it's open at the center position so it will return fluid back to the tank and I've got some new shiny hoses all made up, custom made to, to the lengths that I think I need. One of the earlier changes I've made to this 135 is fitting a diverter valve. Now, this takes pressure away from the three-point linkage and through this valve, and I can control which pipe I run hydraulic pressure through. Uh, I'm just gonna take a feed off one of these today, but I've still got an extra one spare if I need it for later. So on this valve, it's quite handy. We've got a couple of different ports marked. We've got the A and B ports that are going to go to the cylinder or the actuator. The pump, so the feed from the tractor, the pump is going to go into here and then any access pressure is going to go through T back into the tank, the hydraulic tank. Now I'm going to fit the return back into the tank. I could potentially use this fitting or going through here, which is the traditional old one, but I'm going to use this one up here because I think it might be neater. And if all goes wrong, I'll probably change it. Okay, so now let's connect the pump feed. So it's coming off. What we have to do is remove the protective cover. Sometimes easier with pliers. So doughty seal on one end. That's going to go onto here. We don't need a seal on that. So just connect this up. Okay, I'll tighten that up in a bit. So the pipe back into the tank is here. Just put a seal on. Now the next job is fitting the output. So we'll go for port A first. Doughty on there. Connect that up. Now for the feed pipes, I've got the quick release connections, so let's connect those up next. Pretty much tightened all of the connections now. Good. Apart from securing that down, we're all looking in good shape. So quick release, quick release, let's just connect them up. So, will it work? Ah, give it a try. 